Hey, I'm Nick Simmons. You may know me as a two-time Olympic runner, or you may know me as the CEO of the energy gum company, Run Gum. I absolutely love connecting with my followers, and I really like to answer their questions. I answer every single question DM to me over on Instagram, and each week I pick one of those to answer here on YouTube. If I decide to use your question, I'll send you a free autographed box of Run Gum. Let's get to today's question. So what is your strategy with summer miles? With track season coming to a close, what is your advice on how to prepare for your next cross country season? What are some tips that you use during summer training while training for cross country? What a great question and perfect timing. Uh, last Monday, we talked about taking a break after a long season. If you didn't see that video, I will link it right here. Um, and in that video, I recommended that people take somewhere between one to four weeks off after a long season. Um, and there was a lot of back and forth in the comment section about whether you should take less or more. And so go check out that video. I will also link it at the end of this video. But at some point, your break is going to come to an end and you're going to start training again. And a real amateur novice mistake is to go from zero to 100 instantly to just jump back into full mileage. And those people get injured really fast. So you don't want to do that. When you're coming back from break, your muscles have atrophied a little bit, your connective tissue has atrophied a little bit, you're not as strong as the day you stopped training. And that's good. You want to kind of be a little bit overweight, have a, carry a little bit of extra weight with you. You want to be a little bit out of shape. You want that itch to start getting back into shape. So when you have that itch, how do you start structuring your mileage again? Well, my general rule of thumb when I was coming back from break is I wanted to start at 50% of my target weekly mileage. So if my target weekly mileage, my very, very peak of my base phase was 70 miles a week, I'd start back at about 35 miles a week. And sometimes even less than that, if I felt really out of shape and I just really wanted a slow, easy buildup, um, I'd start at even less than that. But the general rule of thumb is 50% of your target mileage. So once you're there, you're not going one week at 35 and then jumping up to 75, you're taking it really slow and steady as you build. You might, I think the general rule of thumb on that one in, in terms of week over week increase is 10%. I think that might be a little bit conservative. I think you could go even up to 15 or maybe 20%, but you're listening to your body through this. So you're maybe 35 miles a week, 40 miles a week, 45 miles a week, Maybe you take another down week, you go back to 35 and then you keep going up. You're listening to your body as you work your way slowly and steadily back to your target mileage. And then even when you're at your target mileage, you might hit that for a couple weeks and then drop down for a rest week. So I might have gone 70, 70, 60, 70. Um, and if you really wanna look at how I structure my mileage, I did publish my 2012 training log, uh, the training log I used to run 142 and finish fifth at the Olympic Games in 2012. I will link that in the description below if you wanna see how I built up my, my base initially. So those of you coming back from a long uh, spring track season, that's how I generally recommend that you, you start your summer. It's mostly easy miles, it's jogs, it's conversational pace with your friends. Uh, if you live in a really hot, humid environment, you're gonna wanna get those miles out of the way early. I, I grew up in Boise, Idaho, and I remember getting up at 5 a.m very frequently during my summers um, to make sure I got my miles out of the way before it got too hot. Let's see, what are some other tips I can recommend to make sure your summer miles uh, are great? Um, ice baths, you know, especially in the summer, I like to just stand in the river. I'm fortunate to live right by the Willamette River. It's about 50 degrees, uh, 55 degrees, which is target ice bath temperature for me. I'll just go right in there, stand in the river for 10 minutes after a run. Eventually, as you're building that, that base, the miles are gonna get a little bit monotonous. You're gonna be like, I can't just go for another easy run. I need something more active. Um, and in that case, I think rolling hill runs can be great. I think tempo runs, maybe once or once a week can be great. Throw in some strides. I remember when I was doing my, my base building in the summers, I'd throw in strides frequently or even some hill repeats. So don't make it super monotonous, just boring, slow miles, but also don't feel that you need to be hammering workouts two or three times a week. There's plenty of time to be doing that once cross country season rolls around. Now, if you're on a European schedule or a pro schedule, obviously this is gonna be transferred by about two or three months. As a pro, I wouldn't start my base building until September, October. Um, but of course, if that's cross country season for you, if you run US high school or US cross country, you're gonna start your base building right about now or in a few weeks. So I hope that helped a little bit. Remember, there is no rush. Don't be a practice winner. Don't be a July champion. No one's trying to win a race in July. You're trying to win a race in championship season. So take it slow, take it steady, and be ready when it counts.
All right, I hope you found that helpful. Remember, you can ask me anything over on Instagram. Just shoot me a DM and I'll get to it as soon as possible. If you didn't win the autograph box of Run Gum today, no worries. Click the link below. We sell them at rungum.com and every single variety box comes hand autographed by me. And if you haven't heard of Run Gum before, do me a favor and check out this video that does a great job telling our story. See you guys next week for another episode of Ask Nick.